Hi, this is Chris from Genesis Scuba, and I'm here to help you do the initial setup of your Centauri dive computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to power it on. To power it on, you want to press this upper left-hand button here for about two to three seconds. Once it turns on, you'll actually see the home page, which just shows the day, time, and date but we need to make changes to those things so in order to make those changes we need to go to the menu and to go to the menu we're going to push the center right side button and then we get to the menu right now you see the arrow is pointing towards watch but we're going to use the upper right button to scroll up to settings and then we're going to use the center right button to select settings and then we have the date so you see the arrow to the left of the date there we're going to use the right center button to select that and you see 2019 is flashing we'll push the upper right button to go to 2020 the right center button to select 2020 and then move over to the month this is the 11th so it's November we'll push the right center button to select that and then we go to the date today is the 20th And we have the 20th there and select. Now the date is set. To go down to the format, we push the lower right side button. And we, right now it's being displayed in year, month, and day. But if we want to make changes to that, we can press the right center button to flash and use either the right or upper or, the upper or lower button to go to month, day, year, or day, month, year. And I like to see it in month, day, year. So we'll go back there, select, and that has been done. Now we can actually check our setting, our format, and we have November the 20th, 2020. After that, we can move to time. In this X section here, uh, it's going to show in 24-hour time. So right around now, it's 11.15 a.m. So we'll press the center button to get the hour to flash. We will scroll up to 11, select, and then move to 11.15, and set. After that, we can use the lower right button to go to the universal time. We're on the east coast of the United States, so we'll need to change that to plus 5 by using the lower right button and select. After that we get to the 12 or 24 hour time. Now here that's associated with the home screen so right now it's set on 24 hour time I like to see it in 12 hour time so we'll select that use either the upper or lower button to change that to 12 and select it. After that we get to scuba mode but we're going to save any of the scuba settings and uh, for another video. So in order to finish up any additional settings that we have we can use the upper right button to go back up to date past date to vibration. Right now it's off but if we turn it on like this now every time we push a button or an alarm goes off the watch will vibrate. The next setting would be backlight there's five different brightnesses of the backlight. Right now we're on setting two, but if we select three, it gets brighter, four brighter, and fifth is the brightest setting. Then we can go to the buzzer, which you've been hearing the beeping sound every time I press the buttons. That's confirmed by being on. Then we can go to power. This setting allows the computer to stay on for about five minutes and then after five minutes it will go into a sleep mode in order to conserve power but if we want to extend that we can change that setting to 10 minutes or 30 minutes so we'll go back to five select five and then it'll go into the sleep mode after five minutes and then you, to wake it up you just flick your wrist and move the watch and the G sensor will wake it up out of its sleep mode. 
Then we go to unit. Right now it's set on meters and Celsius. We're going to change that to feet and Fahrenheit. And then after that we get into free diving stuff which we will leave for an additional video in the future. In order to exit out of here you have two choices. One of those choices is to push the right, the upper left button twice to get to the home screen. Or if we wanted to go back there, we can just push the right center button a couple times to get back. And then we can use the lower right button to scroll down to exit. Oops, I passed it. And then we can select exit, which takes us back to the menu. And then we can use the lower right button to go to watch and select that, which brings us to the home screen. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thank you for your time.